Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 7. Last time we started the Final Dungeon, today we're here at the Cosmo Canyon Observatory to get us some of these Master Materia. In order to get the Master Magic Materia, you must have at least one mastered person of each max materia in the game. Likewise, in order to get the master summon materia, you need at least one master copy of each summon materia in the game. For master command, it's a little bit different. You only need specific master copies of materia. Which we will get to in a bit. And in order to get the master command. You need a mastered version of those materia. So a lot of the materia for the command section of the materia, you don't even really need to worry about. And there we go. Now we have one of each, well, we have three of each of a master materia. Well, master, yeah. So, there is no more reason to really master any of the materia anymore. Just to give you a look. Go ahead and equip one of each of these real quick. I already sued this off when I beat Emerald Weapon. But this is the Master Command. In order to get the uh, mug, you can't put on a Master Steel and get Burrow. You just need. It'll, it'll flip between Burrow and Coin, but yeah. And of course, you get all the magic to summon materia. Now, just to show off all of the materia in general. In order to get Ultima, you cannot let the train get away at North Corral. You can get it if you fail to stop the train when you're on it, but it will cost 50,000 gil. If you complete the train side quest, you'll get for free. The sealed material you find from North Cave, you can get a free uh, extra copy if you do the duplication trick. Gold Cure you get at Cosmo Canyon during this team. Contain you get from the White Chocobo in uh, Miguel by feeding it a Mimic Green, I believe it is. And can heckle it behind its ear. Destruct, you can get a free one at Nippleheim when you first go there and go to the basement. You can also buy it later. Time, you can buy time. Comet, you must get in Save of the Ancients. Before this two, I believe. You can buy Barrier, Grab Tape, Poison, Exit. You can pretty much buy everything down here. Quadra Magic you must get from one of the Materia Caves. I'll begin with. Steal as well. You find this by going to the God Sal Statue in Fire Cave when you have the Leviathan scale. 
and it cut is bound in the Great Glacier on the route to where snow is. You'll find this hidden in the snow. Final attack is the reward for beating the special power arena. Sneak attack you get from the Chocobo Square at S rank. And in effect, you must find the Cave of the Guy in Cosmo Canyon. If you do not pick this up before you finish it, you can never get it again. There are three elemental materials in the game again. The first one you find by in uh, Midgar in the Simra headquarters by guessing Mayor Domino's password correctly on the first try. The second elemental material is found in Mount Nightmare. And the third one is in Nibelheim in Tifa's piano. While you're controlling Tifa, and you must have played Tifa's piano by jamming on it in Cloud's flashback. HP Absorb. The first one you can get in Moon Pipe during the UV side quest. If you do not do the UV side quest before Midgar and guess who, you'll miss out on this. I think. The other one is found in the North Cave. MP of Sword was found after completing the UV side quest in Wukai. Again, if you cannot do side quest before Midgar and Disc 2, you can never get it. MP Turbo is found in the Whirlwind Maze after defeating Genova Death. If you don't pick it up, you can never get it again. Max Calper is a prize of the Chocobo Square at A and S rank. Counter you can only find in the North Cave. You can get an extra copy of it too. The four enemy skills. The first one you find at the Simra headquarters after defeating the sample 8051. 8512. If you do not pick it up after you defeat them, you can never get it. The second one is found in June in the Victorian room. The first one is found in the City of the Ancients before you go to sleep. Pick it up as it's in the same room. Don't go to sleep just yet. The last one you get from the Chocobo Sage's house by talking to the green Chocobo. Mime, you find in one of the Materia Caves. I believe this is the one by Wuhi or the one in Corral. Manipulate comes with Kate Sip, you can buy it later. Deathflow you can find in Gone Gaga, you can buy this layer. Morph you can find in the Temple of the Ancients, I think you can buy this layer. Rogue comes with Yuffie, you can buy that layer. And then Sims you can find in the sector. Playground, Sector 6 Playground, you can buy Lair, Steel, you can find the Midgar Swords, you can buy Lair. W item you can find in Midgar in the subway at the very south end during this 2. If you miss it, you can pick it up in both village. W Summon is a prize to be Ballerina. W Magic is a Materia found in the North Cave. Double Cut, you find the Sunken Delnica. And Slash All, you find the Ancient. This useless Materia is in one of the Materia Caves. On the Water Materia, you get in Calm by trading in the Guidebook, which you get from morphing the Ghost Sip in the Ugnum Water Reactor. Cover, you can find one for free at Eris' house, and then buy it later. Counter attack, you find this at Mount Nival after defeating Materia Keeper. I guess small others can be gotten from the Chocobo Square. Make it all you can only find in the North Cave. It's possible to duplicate too. 
more graves you find in Metal Mine. Preemptive is a prize in the Battle Marina. So, Quilmer, the first one you can get for 2,000 gil at the Chocobo Ranch on this one. Failing that, you can get a free one during this two or later. At the Chocobo Ranch, near the front end. At the right. Enemy Lure is a prize at the... Battle Arena? One is Battle Arena, the other is the Chocobo. Chocobo Square. Yeah, this is Chocobo Square. Gil Plus and EXP Plus are prizes to be Wonder Square and one time only. What Plus you find at the Temple of the Ancient? If you miss this, you can never get it. Max Plus found at the Coral Valley. Speed Plus is a reward in the Battle Arena. HP and MP Plus you can buy. Knights of Around is the final Materia Cave. Materia, found in the northeast corner of the world map, it requires the gold chocobo gift. Muhammad Zero requires you get all of the huge Materia, and then check the blue Materia when you have Neo Muhammad and Muhammad. If you don't have the blue Materia, or all four huge Materia, or for some reason, nah, or for some reason, don't have Neo Bahamut and Bahamut, you can get yourself at Bone Village. High Poon, or High Poon, is found in the Ancient Forest. Hades is found in the Sunk Galmica. Neo Bahamut is found in the Whirlwind Maze. If you miss it, you can never pick it up. Phoenix is found if Fort Condor after defeating Commander Grand Horn or winning the battle there. If you don't pick it up or if you fail to win, you can get this up at Bone Village. Alexander is found in Great Glacier after hunting the hot springs and finding snow. Kixata is found in the Sleeping Forest. Bahamut is found in the Temple of the Ancients after defeating the Red Dragon. If you do not pick this up, you lose it forever. Leviathan is found in Wuhai after completing the Pagoda. Ogun is found in Nibelheim after defeating Lost Num. Titan is found in Gon Gaga at the Reactor. Ramu is found in the Gold Saucer in the Chocobo Square Jockey area. If you do not pick this up, you will forever lose it. Ifrit is found after the big Genova birth on the cargo ship. If you do not pick this up before you leave, you lose it. Siva is found in Lower Junin after saving Priscilla. And Choco Mog is found at the Chocobo Ranch by hunting the Chocobos outside. If you do this during this two or later, if you catch Chocobos and you have Chocobos outside, you can still do that and get them. Woo! That is a lot to talk about just for the... for the, um... Materia. I still need to go over the items. So that will be fun. Items! These you can buy easily. X person. You can... Initially, you can steal them in bulk from the full motor in Corral Prison. Later on, you can win them from defeating Bizarre Bugs in Woot High, which is the easiest way of getting them. Eepers, you can start getting them at the start of the game by defeating the Mono Drive at the first reactor or the train graveyard before going to Sector 5. After 
that, you can steal them from the game glow. Bleh, game glow. You can train graveyard after the main app. After that, you can steal them from the arc dragon in the mineral mine. And then from Castle Wires in the forest outside Junin and Fort Condor. You can buy these later on. Turbo Eepers. You can steal them from the landworms in Corel Prison. Uh, I believe you can also steal or win them from the Jersey enemies in Nibelheim. And I believe you can steal the wisdom from the wind brain in Mount Nival. You can also win them from the Sago Makers in Midgar. You can Midgar self away during this game, but not hard game. In Lixer, you can morph Black Karagos into it. Hates a long time to do, but you can do it that way. You can also get the Nexers from the Chocobo Square. Um, the being Dark Dragons in North Cave. They're not hard to get. Mega Nexers on the other hand. You can only get these from defeating the Master Conqueries in North Cave or from the Chocobo Square in S Rank. All the ghost items there you don't have to really worry about. Smoke Bomb! Where can you get Smoke Bomb? I... Don't remember. Huh. There's a few ways of getting Smoke Bomb and I don't remember how. Speed Drink, you can get this from stealing from the dice in Sector 5. You can also get this in, uh, Mount Nival, I think, from Morphin the Formula, or Harry, or whatever it was. S Sonic Speed? You get Smoke Bomb, I don't remember. Hero Drink. Best way to get is from Chocobo Square. That scene? I think you can can actually morph that from the Dragon Zombie. Grenades you can buy, shrapnel you can buy, right arm you want to steal, win from the bombs on the Mount Corral Bridge. Hourglass you can win these from the Cripse, or uh, not Cripse, Eggs Heads in Woot High on the grass. Or you can morph the Kimara bugs in Gone Gaga. Kiss of Death, you can only win from the Jokers in the North K. Spiker Web, you can first win from the Grass Stripes in the Sector 5 Subway. Or you can steal them from Chimera bugs. That's the best way to get them. Dream Powder, best way to get them is to morph the crown, crown lances on the beaches around Cosmo Canyon. Mute Mask, you can morph the dorky faces into them. You can win these from the Garuga in Woot High, or you can steal them from the Crazy Soul in Midgard Subway during this game. War Gong, you can win from Grand Horns around Gong Gaga. Or from the Behemoth in Midgard during this game. Loco Weed, you can win from the Sword Dance in the Simra Headquarters. Or from defeating the Racer Weed in Loot High. Fire Fade, you can win from the Dragon in Mount Nival, or you can get you can get from the Chocobo Square. You can buy this and Arc and win. I believe you can get from Morphin the 
snow wolves, I think, in Icicle in area. Ice crystals, you can also get this from, um, you can get, you can get all of these from the Silk Road Square pin. Ice crystal you can get from more from the gel things in Icicle Land. Bolt Club you can get from winning from the Thunderbirds in Mount Corel. I believe you can also win it, one of these from the Thunderbird and Loot High. Earth Drum, you can win from the Flower Prong in Gone Gaga. You can win it from the Screamer in Mount Nival. Or you can steal it from... I think it's Giggy or Christopher in North Cave. Earth Mallet, you can only get from winning it from the Gigas in North uh, Whirlwind Maze. If you don't get this before you complete Whirlwind Maze, you'll miss out on it. Deadly Waste, you can win from the Smoggers in, uh, or Slalems, whatever they were called, in the Sector 5 Reactor. You can also win them from the Brain Pogs in Simra Headquarters. And you can win them from the Sneaky Steps in Cape Guy. I'm sure you can get it elsewhere. <laughs> oh wait, the uh, smoke bombs you can win from the uh, for smokers in um, in um, June. And Mount War Pentacles you can win from Mount Waros. You can also get this from something if the cave guy. Stardust you can get from winning it from the Behemoth in Midgard during this 2 or the Serpent in the Sunk Galnica. You can also get this as a prize in the Battle Arena. Vampire things you can get from winning get from the Vampire or uh, Black Bats and the Evil Heads. At the Simra Manson and the Gaius Cliff. Respect. Respectfully. Ghost Hand you can only get from stealing, winning from the ghost in the train graveyard during after you can beat apps. If you don't get them, you can steal it from them in the ballerina up to a point. Otherwise you can permanently miss this. Bagaris Claw you can Steal from the Bagaris, or Bagaris, around, the uh, North West Cosmo Canyon. If you're on level 70 or higher, you can no longer get this. You can also win this from a Commander Grand Horn before the final battle at Fort Condor, which is the easiest way to get it. Light Curtain and Lunar Curtain. I think you can win both of those from Garugas. Light Curtain, you can also morph a Sword Dance into. Lunar Curtain, you can morph from a Corvette. There's other methods of getting both of these. The Mirror, you can only win from the Mirage in the Sira Manson. Holy Quartz, I believe you can only get from more things the evil hex in Gaius Cliff. Birthwing, you can steal for the Hornagu and the Sue. Hornagus you can fight on beaches around Miguel. Dragon Scales you can win from the Sea Worm and the Agamant Hornet or Agamant Hamai. You can, buy both, you can buy all of this. I think you can buy S mine. 8 inch cannon you can steal from the attack squad. Or you can win from the gross panzer and Midgard during this 2 at the base of the sister ray. If you don't get this before Midgard ends, you'll miss it. Gravity ball you can 
went from the Gain Glow in Midgar at the Train Graveyard. And only that you can win this from the or I steal it from the Sacco Maker in Midgar Subway during this tune. If you cannot get it before you finish Midgar, you can't get it anymore. PS Bomb, you can actually win or steal these from the Black Beats around Corel on the world map. Easy enough to get. Ink, you can steal from the Bag Raps and the Sunk Galnica. Gazers, you can win a skill from the Bound of Fat. Fought around. Um. The City of the Ancients area. Dragon Fang, you can you win one from the Big Sky Zoo. The other one you get from. A submarine minigame in the Gold Saucer. You normally only get two <coughs> the higher game. The Cauldron you can win from the Dragon Zombie. All the greens you can buy, hemp you can buy, seal nuts you must steal or win from the Goblin on Goblin Island. Karofna, you must steal from the Black Karagos, or you can get this at the Wonder Square at Gold Saucer for 500 ZP. All the iron nuts you can buy. The battery, in order to have at least one battery, you must not use the third battery when climbing up the Simra Headworm. This used to get more fight in the Cabal Marina. You can actually get multiple copies of Great Gospel if you go back to the Man of the Cave by Fort Condor and keep trading minerals. Cosmo Canyon is a reward for defeating Lost Nover. Chaos is for doing a little side quest for Vincent. Omni Slash you get for a uh, um, from the Battle Arena, Final Heaven, you play a melody at Pifa's house. Catastrophe, you get from Corel, High Winds in the Sunk of Galnica. All Creation is one from Complete in the Pagoga in Wu High. Am I forgetting someone? Nah. One third five soldier, you can find two in Junin. You can get more of these from the Speed Square. These two you can get from the Speed Square. These three you get from the Special Battle Square. Desert Rose is a reward for defeating the Ruby Weapon. Earth Heart is the reward for defeating Emerald Weapon. Guidebook you must get from Morphin the Ghost Sip and the Underwater Reactor. So there's all the items, equipment, anything unique. Well, the Ragnarok, or not the Ragnarok, but Apocalypse that Cloud has on, you can only get the Ancient Forest. Looking to see if there's anything else. The nail bat. You can actually buy that layer. Yoshi Yuki. You must get this when you go to Rocket Hound the first time. Huh, the old man that looks like a rocket twice. Get this. If you don't get before you leave, I think you can miss this permanently. I think I have to rack the rock on. Ragnarok is just, you get the Ragnarok for the being Proud Claw. Heaven's Cloud, I think you can only get this at Gaius Cliff. Ultima Weapon is the reward for the being Ultimate Weapon. This is Tifa's Initial Weapon. The Motor Drive. I'm trying to remember which ones you can't buy. 
to some of these you can buy others you can't. You can get this one in Mount Nival. You must find this one in the Simra headquarters during this two. You win this one from carry armor. And this is in Walmart and the Eye of Salt when you return after you get the key to Sector 5. That's Barrett Storing Weapon. The Pile Banger is in the Simra headquarters during this two. The Max Ray you find in the first part of the Underground in Midgard. If you miss this, you can never get it. And Barrett's Ultimate Weapon for Missing Score, you must find at the Sister Ray with Barrett in your party during Midgard and this too. If you miss it, you can no longer get it. This is Red Burton's Starring Weapon, I believe. The Seraph Comb, you get this after completing Cave of the Guy. Behemoth Horn, you find in Midgard in the staircase during this tomb. If you miss this, you can no longer get it. You get this one in the Ancient Forest. Limited Moon, you get from Bugahagen after you finish Midgard in, uh, You must have Red Burnt Hand in your party when you go visit Bugenhagen. This is Eris' starring weapon. You can only get the Umbrella if you get 5,000 or more points at the Speed Square on Disc 1. If you miss this, you can no longer get this. This is found at the Temple of the Apes. If you miss it, or if you have Eris equipped with it when she leaves, you lose it. The scimitar you find in the underwater reactor, if you miss it, it's forever gone. The grown lamps I think you find in the Simra headquarters during this two, if you miss it, it's gone. Layer is the wait a minute. Or was it the spirit lamp? One of those one. The flare is a five thousand or more point reward at the speed square on this two and all work. You be starting weapon. The rising sun you must steal from diamond weapon. If you miss it, it's gone. Or Rick's room. If you have the Leviathan scales from the underwater reactor and go back to God's house statues Fiery Cave, you'll find this. And Yuffie's ultimate weapon, the Conformer, is found in the Sub-Gail Mika. Sig's ultimate weapon, the Venus Gospel, is found in Rocket Hound after you launch the Simra number 29, 26. Hawk the old man that used to look, watch the rocket twice, and you'll get it. Kate Sif's Storm Weapon. I believe you get the Trumpet Cell at the Temple of the Ancient. Bout Trumpet is found in the Underwater Reactor. And this is found in the Simra Headquarters during this too. If you miss any of these three, they're gone for good. The Shotgun you can buy in Rocket Hound on this one. If you don't buy it, it's gone. The Super Saw SP is found in the Ancient Forest. Outsider, I believe, is found in the Sub Galnica. Death, Pen Death Penalty is found in Lucretia's Cave, which requires Fence in the party again. Bronze Bangle. It's a starting armor for Cloud Bear, Ava, and Eris. If you sell these, you can no longer give. Iron Bangle, you can only buy in Sector 7. If you do not buy at least one before you leave, you can never give. Ackerman 
bangles you get from stealing from the Agamantamite are the reasons on loot high. Gagas Armlet, you win one from defeating the Demon's Gate, but you can steal additional items from Gagas in Wormwind Maze. You can also steal it from the Gagas during the Ballerina. Imperial Guard, you can win one from the Commander Grand Horn during the final battle at Fort Condor. The other one, I believe, is found in the North Cave. The Aegis Armlet is found in the Midgard Underground. If you cannot pick this up before you drop down the uh, area, you can never get it. Fourth Bracelet is found in Rocket Hound on this hill. Warrior Bangle you can only get from stealing from the Eagle Gun on the Corel Train. If you don't steal it, you miss it. Simra Beta, you can originally steal from the Marines on the cargo ship. If you don't steal it there, you can win it from the underwater MPs in the underwater reactor. And if you miss out there, you pretty much miss it. Simra Alpha, you can steal from the special enemy in the underwater reactor. Or you can steal it from the soldier first in Midgard during this hit. If you don't get it, it's gone. Four slots, you can get one in the Mid in uh, Simra Headquarters by trading it the Kyukon. You can also buy it at Koskagel Solo on this one. If you don't get one before this one ends, it's gone. By your armlet, you can steal from Unknown One, if the Sunken Galnica. Aurora Armlet, you can steal from Unknown Two, if the Sunken Galnica. Bolt Armlet, you can steal from Unknown Three, if the Sunken Galnica. Dragon Armlet, you win one with the Red Dragon in the Temple of the Ancient. You can win it from the Blue Dragon. At Gaius Cliff at 100% rate. Or you can skill it from the Dark Dragon in the North Cave. For Minerva Band, you must skill it from Elena during the battle in Midgard during this hoop. And if you want to get the second one, it's in the Ancient Forest. Escort Guard. Where was that at? I don't remember where the escort guard came from. But if you miss it, I'm pretty sure it's gone forever. Misguile! The first one you get in Midgard at the base of Sister Ray. The second one you get in North Cave. And it's possible to get a third one. If you send Aetha to the right, and then go not right, go all the way down, work your way back up, go down the route Aetha went, pick up this misguile, go all the way back down, meet up with everyone, and talk to Aetha. The Cygric, you can get all three of them from stealing from Rook during Rocket Pound, the Sunk Galnica, and Midgar. Chocobo Bracelet you can get from the S rank Chocobo Races. The Precious Watch you can also get there. Champion Belts you are a prize at the Ballerina. Poison Ring you can only get in uh, the Whirlwind Maze. If you miss it, it's gone. Huff Ring you can steal from Reno. In the Sunk Galnica and in the Battle with the Perks in Mikar in this hoop. Circlex you can steal from Ultimate Weapon while he's flying or from Snow in Great Glacier. Sprint Suits you can win as a A or S rank prize in the Chocobo's Flare. You can 
can also get one for free by finishing eight fights in the Foul Arena and talking to the person outside Foul Arena. The Ribbon! The first one you can get in the Temple of the Ancient. The second one is Higgin the Gaius Cliff. third one you can get for completing the special foul at Foul Arena and I guess no others must be more for the Master Conquest. Extra elementals you can find from one at the North Cave. Additional others must be more from the Cactar on Cactar Island, south of Cosmo Canyon. Curse Ring, the first one you find in Miguel. You must find the old BOP key and then use it on the door of the weapon shop and then apologize and then um help the truth the owner. The second one must be stolen from Ultimate Weapon during the fight in Miguel. If you don't pick it up during either of those, it's gone. For Heck Ring, you can steal from the left head of Skyso. Additional others are more from the movers in North K. Cat Spell, you can only get as an S rank prize if it's so close square. Reflect Rings, you can get one from the uh, Whirlwind Maze, I think. Additional others must be stolen from Ultimate Weapon while he's on the ground. You can find a Water Ring in the Path to the Sea of the Ancient. Additional others can be stolen from the Serpent in the Sunken Galnica or Acrophis in the Sea of the Ancient. Sneak Glove you can buy at Wall Market from the guy who sold Super Batteries on this two after you get the key to Sector 5. Hypno Crown you find in the Coral Valley. And I do believe that is everything. Holy crap! Actually it's not. We got enemy skills to look at. Great. So, before we finish this up, enemy skill. I get Frog Song. You can learn this from the Touch Me at Gone Gaga. The Toxic Frogs in Heaven of the Ancient. Or from Christopher in the North Cave. And for Suicide, you learn from the Moose at Chocobo Ranch. Or from Trick Place in, um, Bone Village or Sea of the Ancient. Max Hammer must be learned from the Razor Weed by manipulating them and their thought of grass areas around Moon High. Also, the description is wrong on both of these. is single target. White one must be learned from some select by manipulating around Junin. Big Guard must be learned by manipulating the beach plug on the beaches of Coast Gale's soul. Angel Whispers learned from Colin Solta in the North Cave by manipulating her. Dragon Force is learned from the Dark Dragon in North Cave by manipulating it. Death Force is learned from the Agamemnon by manipulating it, and you fight that on the beaches of Wuhai. Flame Thrower, you can first learn from the Arch Dragon of a Mineral Mine. You can later learn it from the Dragon in Mount Night. Laser, you can first learn from Death Claw in Coral Prison. You can let her learn it from the Dark Dragon, which is easier to do by manipulating it. Max from Magic, you can first learn from the Custom Sweeper. Later on, you can learn it from Bull... You can learn it from Bull Motors at Coral Prison. And I believe Death Machine in Junin uses it too. Bad 
breath you can only learn will be Mount Moro, fought at Gaius Cliff, and later at the North Cave. Beta you can only learn from the Midgar Solo. When it's scary enough, if you do enough damage to not kill it, it will use Beta. Aquanum you can first learn from the Harpy if Coral Prison, or if a guesser around Gold Saucer, which requires the buggy. You can also learn it from Genova Life at Sea of the Ancient. And you can learn it from the Serpent in Sunken Galnica. Shrine, you can first get from the Materia Keeper when it's low on life in Mount Nival. After that, you can learn it from Skilva in Gaius Cliff. It's best to manipulate that. And, in order to get a last enemy skill, you must learn it from Go-Go in Wu-Hai. Max Breath, you can first learn from the uh, skill in Gaius Cliff. It's very, very dangerous. You can easily die. So have, have someone who can absorb the damn. You can later learn it from the Parasite by manipulating them in North Cave. This skill you can first learn from the Jerseys in Nibelheim, as long as you don't attack them. You can also learn it from the Behemoth in Midgard on this hand. Goblin Punch you can only learn by Right, Goblin on Goblin Island. Chocolate Buckle is really unique in that you must find a Chocobo in Chocobo Ranch, be it a Mimic Green, I believe, and use L4 Suicide. If L4 Suicide hits, it will use Chocolate Buckle on the person that used L4 Suicide. So give that person all your enemy skill in the area. I forget which formation has the chocobo. L5 Death you can only learn from the Parasite in North Cave by manipulating them. Death Sentence you can first learn in the Cave of the Guy from the Guy Spectre or Sneaky Stuff. You can also learn this from Found the fat around the city of the ancient. This completely useless ability is learned from the Joker in North K. It's best to manipulate it and put death force on everyone, including the Joker. Sago Flare, you can learn from Ultimate Weapon, Ultimate Weapon. It's best to have the person who's going to do the killing blow have all the enemy skill area on and reflectoring. That way, you can get all on one. Otherwise, you have to learn it from a dragon zombie. Pandora's box, you learn from dragon zombies after you defeat it. It will only use this once. So if you have, if you don't have every enemy skill area on, you will permanently miss this on any enemies, any, little little enemy skill area that you don't have on. So try to pay your spots for only two that you can permanently miss. Holy crap, that was a lot to go and by the way, getting three of these will take more time than it shows, and you would be level 99. If it's not obvious, I did hack the game to get me a whole bunch of AP after fights, just so I can finish the game. So with that said and done, 
I think we're ready to go back to uh, finishing the game. I know this is a boring episode, but I thought I would give you the happy house of where I find everything. So until next time, everyone, we're gonna finish the game finally. It's been a heck of a ride. I know I haven't really said very much about what I thought about each part of the game and whatnot while playing. I really wish I did, but you know, I'm not that great for commentators, sadly. Until next time.